everybody, all right, my name is Soleil. Today I have absolutely no makeup on. Reason being is because I'm about to go have a surgery in a few hours and I'm not supposed to have any makeup on my face. Um, the surgery that I have been long awaiting for is the scar revision that I have um, in my upper lip from the lip implants that I had. So let me get close to the camera so you can see. You can see how it's like real tight and there's a line going across. This scar like constricts my smile and it just really bothers me and in the perfect light my lips look crazy. Um, hence why every time I take a photograph I'm always kind of like angling my face just right trying to make sure that I can kind of conceal as much as possible. Um, for those who don't know, uh, just to recap, back in 2016, yeah, I got lip implants and after I got the lip implants I started getting filler. One of the reasons was because the lip implant was poking out the side of my lip and um, I was trying to use filler to kind of like press it back in and then from there I started to add more filler because I didn't like the way like I keep on saying this throughout my videos but for those who don't know lip implants will not change the shape of your lips they might make elongate your lip but it's not going to change the shape so like for instance right now people are into Kylie Jenner's lips when I got the lip implants I was into Angelina Jolie's lips her lips are very round Kylie Jenner has a round look to her lips um, Kylie Jenner's lips are achieved by the filler because if you look at her pre-pictures, she didn't have rounded lips. They were kind of long and very thin and uh, filler has created the roundness. Implants do not create that. You need filler in order to shape the lip. Um, so I started getting filler, did that for about a year and a half. Um, ended up going to a doctor closer to home, which I, you know, the doctor I was going to I lived closer to her a couple years prior and then I kept on going to her but like since I moved up north I was like driving down to her like two hours to see her so went to this guy down the street and I'm you know he's kind of after like paying attention to him not very clean um, and I'm getting a lip infection which I believe is because he probably is just not extremely sanitary. Anywho I've got the lip infection and the infection caused the, the tunnel that they created for the lip implant created a thick uh, scar and the infection I guess like made it worse so now like for the last few years every time I smile um, for a minute there like this lip the side of the lip would like go up every time I'd like smile it was whew, it was a uh, it was a journey and um, I went from being like I would like to have my lips you know look a little bit better to having I don't want to say body dysmorphia, but I definitely obsessed over my lips while I had the lip implants. I was constantly looking at my lips, kind of obsessively. And then afterwards, I just kind of came to the conclusion this is what I look like. And um, and I wouldn't say that I'm like, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, I'm not embarrassed about my lips, but I'm aware that they're not where I would like them to be at this point. So I haven't gotten filler for a long time because I wanted to wait so that I had like completely depleted lips from any filler or anything so that I could start like kind of fresh with these fat injections. So I am so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, my skin's very shiny right now. I'm going to go ahead and talk about these products just so that I can kind of mix this video up. Uh, if anybody has not used I Am From, check them out. They're a Korean skincare brand. I am obsessed. You get this off of... Um, Amazon. I have pretty much every line of theirs. This one is a big boosting essence. I put this on in the morning and then I put the vitamin fruit serum on in the morning. Um, definitely a good brand at night. I, I have everything. I use their, I'm use, currently using their rice line. They have their honey line, their ginseng line. Like I got it all. Anyway, and then I always finish off with my CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion Sunscreen. It's got 30% sunscreen. It does not leave a white hue. It does make your skin shiny, but under makeup, it, it goes pretty well. Um, but as mentioned, since I'm doing the surgery in a couple hours, I would not be wearing any makeup at all. I was gonna do my eyebrows at least, but I was like, you know what? I don't even care. Anyhow, all right, so I am going to go ahead and do, uh, you know, break this into different parts. I wanna show you you know, along the steps of, you know, before and then right after and then a few days after that and then that will be the video and I'll make a second video for like a few weeks after so you can see the outcome of the lips and everything. So, all right, I will be back in a second with the next clip. All right, I am back. This is 
one hour, yeah, a little over an hour after I got it done. They're extremely swollen, get close. I have some bruising. Um, and the numbing is wearing off, so. I'm having a hard time. I'm not supposed to talk actually. She said I shouldn't talk for 24 hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll be quiet for the rest of the day. Um, so, she ended up not taking fat from my stomach. She ended up taking it from my inner thigh. It was the weirdest feeling. Um, I think the part of just seeing the actual tool for um, liposuction was more psychological than it was physical. You know, um, I can endure pain though. Like, it, it wasn't painful at all, but anybody who can't endure any kind of like, you know, pinching or anything, then it might not be for you. But um, I, like I just, I have like shin tattoos that hurt like way, 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 way beyond worse than what I had today. Uh, she took the scar tissue out. She dug through the scar tissue in my upper lip. And then she had taken the fat, she harvested it, which was very interesting to me. The medical community is very interesting. Um, I got a chance to actually see the process and like what they do. And they pretty much like allow like the fat to like kind of separate and you have like the good fat and not the good fat. And she told me because I had done cool sculpting in my stomach that it wasn't going to be, it possibly was not going to be good fat because, um, you know, the cells die off and you have, I guess, leftover like damage probably. So... Uh, she wanted to do my butt, but my butt, I'm like, no, even a little bit of fat, I don't want it to go away. Like, that's, that's one of my assets. Um, so she did go with the inner thigh, and she said she got some good fat, and uh, I'm pretty excited. She said that she overfilled it purposely because half the fat's going to go away and within three months. So my main concern, yes, I want to have fuller lips, but my main concern was the scar. Like, that was my primary, and... I guess I'm still like numb here, so I can't really smile. But I have a little mirror right here. Um, if it looks like this, like as far as like um, no scar at all afterwards, I'll be beyond happy. Um, this looks like it looked what I had my lip implants put in. When I had my lip implants put in, my lips were like crazy, crazy big, and then like three or four days later, it calmed down. So, um, I'm going to wait a few days. I might do a quick video tomorrow. We'll see. But if my lips look the same as they look today, then it's kind of pointless. Um, but, or if they look worse, if they look different at all, I'll go ahead and do a video because it'll be the next, uh, phase. But otherwise, let me go ahead and show you again. Um, this was a, what do you call it? Is it outpatient? Like, I didn't, they wouldn't put me to sleep or anything. I, like I said, she just numb the areas and then uh now it's out the door now if i was gonna get like full-blown liposuction like on my stomach or something i might want to be put to sleep i don't know it's a strange it's a strange feeling it's it's strange it's not like bad it's just like it's it's, it's different i don't know if i'd really want that like to lay there and like have them like going through my stomach over and over again if i was to be wide awake i'd yeah i might want to be asleep for that but i don't know Anyhow, all right, I am going to quit talking for the rest of the day, as she told me to, and um, I will see you guys in the, the next phase. This is six days, so pretty much one week from the time that I had my surgery, so I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I think my lips are really coming along. Lower lip is definitely pretty filled, so that's, you know, we'll see though. But overall, though, I think that my lips are looking... Uh, a lot better than they did like every day they look better now it looks better from yesterday the day beforehand so um i will go ahead and i'll give another update in one week all right this is the final uh clip of this video it has been a little over a month i'll get close to the camera so you can see the outcome um i will be doing more videos later on but they say that it usually calms down like it, your final, final look will be like the five, six month mark and that's what you'll be left with. Um, so just to reiterate what I've gone over already in the eclipse, if you get fat injected, 30 to 60% of it will go away. Um, for me, I did this specifically so that I could get rid of the scar tissue from the implants that I had. 
If you want to do this to plump up your lips, I think that hmm, you might have to do it more than once, depending on what your your vibe is, um, as far as like what you're trying to accomplish with the size and whatnot. I do like the fact that it does look natural. You know, it's not as firm looking as implants or well, definitely implants, but also filler. But um, like I said, it like it it's. I, my lip is bigger than what it was, definitely, my upper lip, but it definitely went down dramatically compared to the week or two, you know, like every week it's kind of, you know, gone down a little bit. So, um, I'll smile for you. My smile is still kind of tight still. Uh, the scar is still there, not as bad though at all, but like right here, that indention is still there. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I am a little annoyed though. I, I feel like I'm like this perpetual feeling of unhappiness with my lips and it's kind of comes to a conclusion where it's like you have to kind of like draw the line like, you know, not to go over too much. Um, I don't know if it was what's called Voluma or something I put in my lips a long time ago, but they put a little dot like right here and I swear to God like never went away. And I don't know if it's scar tissue or what, but when I had them inject the Dr. Um, Contus, sorry. She injected the fat to get rid of the scar tissue in the top. I had also asked her to put some fat in the bottom just so that there was a balance. And my lower lip is already big compared to my um, upper lip. I do feel that my side profile that was pretty balanced. But my lower lip, when I smile, like it just boop, just pops out. And this, this lip goes in. And that, you know. A little bit peef. So anyway, so I have this like side right here that stands out more than this side. So in photographs I've taken recently when I'm smiling, um, you can just see it like just kind of like, like it just pops out a little bit. I'm going to. I have a free syringe of filler. You know, some people probably think I'm crazy, but um, I'm going to have her. So I mean, she's gonna take a look at my lips to see if it's okay. I think they are good to go because they're not swollen anymore. But if they're not swollen, she said that I could use that filler to touch up any areas that I want touched up on my lips. So I am going to add fat, not fat, sorry, filler all across the line again where that scar tissue was or is, I guess. But like I said, it's minimized. It's definitely minimized. Um, I don't want to go any bigger. I actually kind of like, I think this is a good look. I think that it's like enough to where people notice, but it's not enough to the point where it's like, you know, overwhelming your face. So but I'm going to get a little bit here just to kind of puff it up so that when I do smile, that my up my bottom lip doesn't like gobble it up, and um, I might I mean might have her do a pinch right here just to balance out uh, these two. So other than that though, um, that's it. I think that I have made an extremely long video um, talking about this. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful for anybody who's pondering on getting uh, fat injections in your lips. Um, again, if you're going to do it, don't expect it to be the same as filler because it will minimize and kind of dramatically like right away. Um, but if you're willing to go through the process, then um, you might want to do it like, I don't know, like two or three times, depending on what look you're going for, two or three times which I'm assuming because of how invasive it is that it would be like once or twice a year. So if you're willing to like wait it out and like kind of do the fat injections every few, you know, twice a year or once a year or whatever for a few years, then I think that it would probably be worth it um, just because it is a way more natural look than filler. But um, it's definitely not cheap. So I think I already told you, but I paid $3,000 for it, which is, I guess, on the cheaper end, because some places charge like four to $5,000, so I scored me a deal. Um, so, anyways, all right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'll be making more videos in the near future, and I'll see you guys next time.